this offense from 11th or whatever they are in the league in offense to 5th. Like, he's not going to make that much of a difference, even though he will be a help. Let's go to Jonathan. Jonathan, you're on the nightcap. What's up? Hey, Joe. Um, I agree with you, what you said. I am fairly confident that this season won't go off the rails like it did in 2008-2011. But look at our possible points for a wild card berth. The only team that really scares me is the Colts. I mean, if we get to Indianapolis, I won't like our chances. But if we get Baltimore or Oakland or Houston or Cleveland, or maybe the Well, they won't, they won't get Oakland. Oakland would have to catch the Chiefs for the Bills to play them. Yeah, but, okay. Um, but um, like I said, Indies, between the AFC South and the AFC North, Indies be my only concern. I think I, if we get anyone else, I do like our chances of winning a playoff game for the first time in a quarter century. I mean, this, I, I, I expect this defense to look good, but it, like I said, Indianapolis, if luck didn't go down, I think they'd be Super Bowl contenders. But so what do you thoughts? I agree with you. Indies is the team that scares me most. I'm thinking about them more as a team that could catch the Bills right now more than a team I could play in the playoffs. Because when I'm trying to think of like who's a great playoff matchup that could happen for them, because if this season keeps going this way, it might fall perfect for them. I'm thinking Cleveland or Baltimore. I'm really thinking a lot about that North champ. It might be really important to get that number one wild card spot. And to do that, you have to hold off Indy. And you'd have to hold off the Chargers. You would need both of them to catch you to miss the playoffs. And that's if Houston wins the division, by the way. The Bills could be better than Houston. Indy and the Chargers could actually both catch you, and you could still make it because if you're better than Houston, he's got to be better than all but one of the South teams. Really, that's what it is. You would, the Bills would have to finish second in the AFC South, and you'd have to be better than Chargers. It's doable. They're on pace to do it right now. They're two games ahead of the Chargers. But I'm thinking a lot about Cleveland and Baltimore. If, if they're going to win their first playoff game in my lifetime, it's got to be, or it doesn't have to be, but your best uh, your best matchup for that is the North champ, I think. I, just, I don't know what the, Baltimore, I still don't really know what to make of them. And C- Cleveland, they have so much talent. It just, it, it seems like it's got to be the coaching. It has to be the coaching. Every time Mayfield is under pressure, he's being chased out to his right. Like, it seems like such a simple thing if you're a defense. Pressure him from the left. Make him roll out to the right. Because that's where he's been getting in the most trouble. And he does it so quickly. So, I'm not really that worried about Cleveland right now. And Baltimore, I've until they beat somebody that's not Miami, or um, they even, they've beaten, they have three wins. They've beaten Miami. They've beaten Pittsburgh with Devlin, uh, whatever his name is, the, the camp arm that's going to be starting for them on Sunday in football, and they beat the Cardinals at home. Come on, beat somebody. And then maybe I'll start to worry about that. Let's go to Adam. Adam, you were on the nightcap. How's it going? Uh, hey, guys. I just heard uh, someone call up and talk about Emmanuel Sanders. Yep. 